Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, the Sonic, Sonic game. It's an RPG as well. They didn't make any sequels of this game, as far as I know, and I don't think they would make a sequel, considering the fact that Bioware is now owned by is now owned by Electronic Arts, or EA, as everyone seems to call it these days. Yeah, yeah, Sonic Chronicles. It's a, it's okay, but I mean, like, but apparent, but it, I don't think that RPG and Sonic would go well together, to be honest. But I tell you what, too, though. Big the cat reappears in this one, so I guess that's that's the world in in shambles. I guess. Mm. Not much to talk about this game. I mean, it's an RPG. I mean, it's okay. I mean, like, but I'm not really much in RPGs. Yeah, but yeah, it's okay. Disney Friends. Oh my god, I have so much memories of this game. I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, like, you can take care of them. You can, you can talk, you can play with them. Disney characters, you can play with Stitch, Dory, Pooh, and Simba. And it's pretty good. I mean, like, I mean, I always played this game a lot when I was, like, young. And, and yeah, it's pretty fun. You can draw stuff, you can make music. And you can actually talk to them, or with some results. And you can even and you can even decorate their homes, and as well as give them some de de decorations themselves. And you can even and it even seems to pass by the time too. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome game. Nice to nice to see your um, with your nice to see your actual Disney friends. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games, yeah. By the way, what do I think of Mario and Sonic? As in the actual games, um, I think that it's actually a good thing that Mario and, Lu Mario and Sonic are actually team out with each other, because I, I never really see them that much with each other. Yeah. But yeah, it's not really a problem. I mean, like, whenever we imagine them... Whenever you imagine Mario and Sonic together, we always imagine them battling it out. Oh, that kind of already happened with Smash Brothers Brawl and Smash Brothers on 3DS and Wii U. But yeah, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games is out on the DS. I got the DS version, I don't know why, but I think it was because of reasons. Combining the world's greatest winter games in Vancouver. Ew. I don't know what happened there. Welcome to Vancouver. It's in Canada. Yeah. I like the sports in this game and I mean it was a pretty good game. Nice nice game to play when you like what wanting to do stuff like wait for something. Wario, Master of the Skies. Yeah, this is a pretty good one. Cause like I know I, I wasn't I wasn't originally given this game but apparently but apparently I played it more than whoever gave it to me. Whoever gave Whoever this game was given to, but so I decided. What the heck? I decided to, to play it more. It's a pretty good. I mean, like you, you play as Wario in a sort of Wario Land like gameplay. And basically, here you go. You can play, make your fortune by mastering your disguises. It's like Master Disguise, except it's actually good. If you don't want Master Disguise, it's a very crappy movie starring Danik Harvey. You should not watch it. Strip, sketch your desires to change Wario. You can basically do that. Draw a tail on Thief Wario to turn him into Dragon Wario. Yeah, that's pretty good. You have lots of different disguises, and yeah. It's pretty good. I mean, like, nice little um, sort of... And apparently in this game, all the epis all the levels are named are listed as episodes, I think. Yeah, here you go. You have nice little sort of stuff. Off to TV land, yeah, pick an episode. There are episodes, yeah, like I said. Then you go inside the TV and apparently you play inside the TV. I, I don't get it either, but... Yeah, that's a pretty good game. And I recommend you get it, especially if you really like um, Wario Land and all that stuff. Rayman DS. Yes. This game is a launch title for the DS and was released basically for... Um, to re they were basically re and because of this they decided to remake um, Rayman 2 on DS for some reason because there wasn't enough because apparently there wasn't enough um, releases of what 
Rayman Rayman 2 already. I mean, I already have it on PC, PS2, and 3DS. We don't need a DS version 2. What, what, what we kind of do, because it's, like, pretty cool. But, yeah. This game is based on a Nintendo 64 version, but, yeah. This is pretty interesting, actually, because if I done... You know, actually, this port isn't the best port ever. I mean, like, it wasn't developed by Ubisoft, actually. It was developed by DC Studios, to begin with. I mean, like... Um, yeah, if you don't know what DC Studios is, it's basically a company that, that didn't live for long. I don't know. No, that's DC Comics, who made Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, Batman and Robin... Oh, wait. Aquaman, all the rest. The Justice Friends, Justice League, wh whatever you want to call them. Whatever. DC Comics... They're not DC Comics, that's DC Studios, but it's an interesting port nonetheless. I mean, like, hmm, it's okay port, but... Yeah, here's Rayman using his Rayman 3 design. Yeah. It's a pretty good game, to be honest. It's okay. Super Mario 64 DS. It's another launch title, but it's a, it's a better launch title. I mean, one, one of the best ones ever. I mean, like... Super Mario 64 DS. I mean, the original Mario 64... You know, the original Mario 64. You know, this one. You actually have the cartridge for it. Yay. This is the remake of it. The yeah, remake, because they actually did some stuff to improve on it. Like, they, they they actually extended the game. You mean you can make it to... You can unlock 150 stars, as opposed to um, 120 stars of the original game. Yeah, and you, and you can play as four characters, as opposed to just one character. I mean, like, you can play as Yoshi, just like you couldn't in Mario 64. I mean, Yoshi was in the game, but he wasn't in the um, actual, um, Mar he wasn't actually playable. You mean, you could access him on the roof, and then he'd give you, like, 99, up to 99 lives. Or 100 lives, I can't remember. But, yeah, and then you can also play as Luigi, who was a sort of mystery character, who was a sort of thing that people always want wondered in Mario 64. Is Luigi a playable character? And so, no, he's not. And then he always said that the thing that said, people always thought that the plaque said, L is real. 2401. And then that doesn't even mean anything. But here we are. We want to play as Wario too. Who was strong. And here we are. That stuff. It's a pretty good game. I mean, like, it's better than the. It's pretty, you might even say it's better than the original. Yeah, this manual's a bit torn. And I notice that the manual is not is not laid out like the other ones. I mean, the manual this time is laid out like a like a shopping list or something. So I might as well just lay out like hits now. Mm. But it's a pretty good game, and I recommend you get it unless you're one of those people that don't like it, which is pretty much nobody. Pokemon Black. Do we have the other version? Yes, I do. And Pokemon White. Yeah, I played this one. My brother played this one. Pokemon Black version. Yep, with Reshiram or Reshiram or Reshiram or how we pronounce it. Um, yeah, this is a good game. I mean, like, I know I didn't play that much of it, but um, but it's still a pretty interesting game nonetheless. I mean, I pretty much like played a lot, played a couple of it. I mean, I mean, like, I don't know who my favorite starter is. I mean, like, I have Snivy, but I also like Oshawott for because he's cute. Um, yeah. You got Victini, and, um, yeah. Victini, you got Victini. No codes, just, just the, the codes expired. It expired almost, um, five years ago. It's gonna, it's gonna be, the code's gonna be expired from five years ago soon. Um, yeah, Pokemon Black, it's, oh, it's good, good. And Pokemon Black also. SpongeBob SquarePants Atlantic SquarePantis. Yeah. Hey guys, do you remember the SpongeBob episode Atlantic SquarePantis? You know that SpongeBob episode nobody likes. Of course you do. I mean, you've watched it, surely. Yeah. And I bet you didn't like it either. And guess what? David Bowie was in that, and um, he died recently. That's a great shame. But don't worry, we have this game too. Um. Yeah. But the DS version, I play a lot of it. I mean, like, it's pretty good. I mean, like, we have a couple of... We have some nice mini games. We also have some nice characters to play as. You can play as Patrick. You're going to play as SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, and Mr. Krabs. But there's also a secret character that I shall not tell you. So that's it. So that's it. The manual will tell you instead. 
Squidward is unlocked as a secret bonus character after the game is cleared. Yeah, it's not much of a secret character if you tell us who it is and when you unlock him. So yeah, but nice job, nice, nice job explaining that to us, THQ. Um, yeah, this is developed by Ultron, so that's a pretty de all right developer, but it's a pretty good game. I mean, probably better than the actual special itself, but yeah. I'll read the DS version anyway. I'm not sure about you think I, I'm not sure about the PS2 and Wii version. Apparently, in fret in Finnish, um, a game game means belly. Okay, that, that I'm pretty sure that's a slang word for film. I don't care. Mega Man Star Force Two Zek Zerker X Saurian. Mega Man's twentieth anniversary apparently. Yeah, I don't play this much game. This much I don't play much of this game. Mainly because I'm not really interested in it, but, but I still... My brother got this game again. And we don't really play much of it. Yeah. Uh, so I can't really explain to you how it works, or what you do. It, it was really thick, though. This one's a bit of the, of the game. It's pretty... Uh, I don't know. Rhythm Paradise. Yeah, Rhythm Paradise. It's just another day for you and me in Rhythm Paradise. Or Rhythm Heaven, it was called in the US. Because for some reason. Um, did you give up with the Rhythm? Probably. Um, so yeah, basically, this the Rhythm Paradise. This, this isn't the first one. This is actually just the second one. The first one was released on GBA. I think it was called Rhythm Tengoku. I think. But yeah. I played all of this game. I mean, like, I try to get all the perfect in it, even. You play the game on its side, like this. It's demonstrated by the thing. Over 50 rhythm games. And then I just ended up pretty good. I mean, like, they're really difficult, too. But you, as long as you practice them, they're pretty good. Thin manual. I suppose the thick one that Mega Man had. Hmm. You only had to write sideways. A plain text. Oh, look, it's everyone. It's, 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 it's our... Whenever someone plays Rhythm Paradise, this is automatically their waifu. Or it's my waifu anyway. It's all in the rest, said Rhythm Heaven Girl in 2008. <sighs> she really appear more. I mean, she she never she wasn't even credited in the she wasn't even listed in the credits at the end of the game after you beat that micro game after you beat that mini game with the writers and stuff. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I might have spoiled it. Crap. Sorry. But, yeah. I don't care. But I do care the fact that this game is pretty awesome and pretty addicting, too. So, yeah. This one's already opened. Pokemon Black version 2. Um... Yeah, I don't have the white version myself, but this is mainly more gotten for Dylan, so I wouldn't know how it plays. Like, I'd kind of assume it plays like the other ones. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, but I want to explain to you now. I don't know why now, but I, I know. Um, the man, the reason why there's no game cards in any of them is because of the fact that they're all inside them. A game box I have downstairs. But yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Mario Party DS. Yeah. The second Mario Party handheld game, the first one being Mario Party Advance, which nobody liked, even though I like it. I mean, I mean, I, li I played it and completed it. I mean, I don't see what's wrong with the game. I mean, sure, I don't play much multiplayer on it, but then again, I never really play multiplayer on any of my GBA games anyway. But I do play Mario Party on, on multiplayer anyway, too. But, yeah. This is a good game. I mean, you have, it's like, it's Mario Party on, on a handheld, and basically, in this game, Mario and the gang become small. So basically, everything's giant, or something. I can't assume that's the case, because that's usually how it works. Yeah. It's a pretty good game. If you want a good Mario Party game on a handheld, get this. And then afterwards, get Mario Party Advance, and then get Dream Tour, uh, Dream Island Tour. Island Tour. I, I don't know. On the 3DS. Get the 3DS one, too. I can't imagine that, so it's good. Yoshi's Island DS, or it was called, called back back in the...
back then. Yoshi's Island 2, because the, that was just its its early name. Or maybe its code name. I don't know. Yoshi's Island DS. Basically, I always wanted to play this game. And I really like this game. I mean, yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome. Saddle up for adventure. Yoshi back in the knee, hiding in Torridge. Yeah, you have two screens. Uh, yeah, that's like DS all the times. But it's pretty freaking awesome game. I mean, you can like this is developed by Artoon, you know, the developer of Yoshi's Universal Gravitation. Oh, sorry, I mean Yoshi's Topsy Turvy because that's the American name for it. Yeah, manual's a bit destroyed, but that's not really that's the least of our problems. You have some nice little cute art. Yeah, and it's a pretty good game. I mean, like Yoshi's Island was always a pretty cool game for me. On Super Nintendo and GBA, because I have the um, actual GBA version of that game of Super Mario Advance 3. It's a pretty good game. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Yes. In this game, it's the second one in, in the second Mario and Luigi adventure. Mario and Luigi, as well as Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, go back in time to save the world from Princess Shroob. Who happens to be everyone's waifu. Whenever they play this game. Oh well, I've been mentioning a lot of waifus lately in this video. Well, only twice. Uh, I don't know. It's, I shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have looked at that picture of Princess Rube and then instantly said that everyone loves her. I, I don't freaking know. The way people draw her is astounding though. Anyway, that's relevant. Let's talk about the game. The game is the first one I've ever played. I don't own the actual... I don't actually own Superstar Saga. So I have to get it soon, considering the fact that I have the rest of them. I have them. I was inside story. I have them. Have Dream Team Bros. And I have Paper Jam Bros. Which I received for Christmas, so I might add. I have to get. I still have to get Superstar Saga. But yeah, anyway, this is a good game. I mean, like. Mario and Luigi series are pretty much one of my favorite RPG series. I mean, like. I mean, not only are they cool, I mean, they're also pretty um, funny, too. Yeah, along with the Paper Mario series, of course, but yeah, these games are funny, and as well as the fact that I know the fact that um, I know I know this game doesn't really have any much dialogue, voice clips, except for the ones that Mario and Luigi say were basically it's just gibberish. Either it's either gibberish or it's Italian. I'm not sure actually. Could be it could be a mix of both. As cool as that would be, I wouldn't really understand. But yeah. This is a freaking awesome game. I recommend it. And while you get and while you have it, also get this game. Mine Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Yeah. Basically. Mine Luigi go inside Bowser, like a sort of deviant art thing or something, I don't know. And so does this and yeah, that's pretty much the story. That's inside Bowser. But also, this game introduces us to a new character that would later appear in Paper Jam and Dream Team. Starlo! Oh, she isn't. She's just so freaking cute. Mm. I mean, like every time I see her, it's like I feel like I need. I need her in my life. I mean, she's like really cute. I mean, every time I can't. I just can't stop smiling at her with with whenever I see, I see her. But anyway, I digress. Anyway, this game. It's a pretty good one, actually, because, like, there sees the return of Fawful from the um, actual, from the Superstar Saga, and he returns in this one, apparently. We also see a few new characters, like the aforementioned Starlo, but we, or Chippy, as no one ever calls her, even though they call her Chippy more in the game, yet when it, when it, when it comes to fan art, they always call her Starlo for some reason. Oh, you're in the content page, too. Oh, here you are. Anyway, that's real. Fawful, the awful... I can't think of much words that rhyme with fawful. It's just that everyone seems to say fawful the awful, like it's the only thing they can think of. Anyway. Brock Muncia and Broggy, his doggy, and Princess Peach and Bowser and Mario and Luigi. There's, these are just characters you need to know. You can create up to two different save files. I don't know what. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know what voice she would have, though. Um, I kind of imagine her to have them um, sort of... Let's see, what one would be? One of the Powerpuff Girls, maybe. Let's see, no. Probably Bo Blossoms. That's that's the best way I could describe it, maybe. Well, in the original series. I mean, like, not the actual new series. I mean, like, people people seem to be hating on the voice actors in that series. 
It's like the four kids voice actors when when Sonic happened. Yeah, this is a good game. You can have it's like um you can cross between them platforming and there's RPG sections too, and that's pretty cool. Last last Mario Luigi game on the DS before they move on to the 3DS. It is just friggin' awesome.